I'm pretty sure that it was on my home renovation channel recently that I got a comment from a viewer asking if there was any such thing as a wooden full extension drawer slide. This is a full extension drawer slide here, but it's the metal kind. These things are fairly expensive unless you can get them, you know, at a wholesaler or whatever. That's where I got these and they wound up costing me somewhere around $8 each, maybe less. But I did have to buy a lot of them to get that discount. So they are kind of pricey. And I did make a full extension drawer slide uh, back in the day. I don't have any pictures of it, of course, because I don't think there was any such thing as digital cameras even back then, or if there were, they were very expensive. So I think what I'm gonna try to do in this video is build one and see how it works. Okay, so what I already did was I spent a little bit of time designing something in SketchUp. And of course that's SketchUp, so everything works in there, everything looks good. When you bring it out here to reality, maybe it doesn't work well. I know that there are some long-term durability issues, but I don't think they'll be that big of a problem in the long run. Because, okay, if you use a drawer constantly over and over again, of course the parts are going to wear. But usually a drawer, you know, gets open two or three times a day. If it gets open more often than that, maybe the better choice would be a, a metal slide like this. But for your average drawer, say in the workshop or in your office, it's not going to get open that often. So I think a wooden slide would work. So I got a piece of oak flooring here. And what I want to do is I want to make this from two different kinds of wood because I don't know where I read this, but this was also back in the day. I probably read it in a magazine. And what I read was that the, the slide will last longer if you use two different types of wood to make it from instead of using one type or one species of wood. It won't wear out as fast. So along with the oak, I need a piece, another piece of hardwood. And of course I've got lots of maple. And this piece looks like it'll work fine. And it seems to be the right length. I don't want to make this too long. I think a long one is not, you know, you're, what you're doing is you're asking for it to fail if you make the thing too long. I think anywhere from, say, 10 inches up to maybe 16 inches. And I think this is actually 16 inches. Should work fine. So I measured this and it's actually 15 and a half, but that's not a big deal. I'm not going to worry about that. I did cut the piece of oak down to the same length as this, and I used this as a measuring stick to do that. Now I'm going to start cutting out the individual parts on the table saw. And the design calls for, or the design relies upon, five individual parts that will be grouped together. Two on the inside of the cabinet, on the sidewall, and then two on the side of the drawer. And then there's a piece that slides in between that's going to have stops built into it. And that piece that's in between will be the piece of oak. So we get the different woods in there. I've got the basic parts cut out here, uh, four for the sides and two for the centers, you could say. The oak pieces I cut to a half inch thick and I cut the maple to three eighths of an inch thick. One thing I gotta say is that you need a sharp blade for this and also you need a fence that's good. So if you've got a piece of shit fence, then I highly recommend my fence plan right here. That works really well for guiding the wood through the saw makes perfect cuts as you can see not even a burn mark or a scorch mark on this hard maple like i said i've got more cuts to do on these i'm just going to go ahead and do those and then after they're done i'll put the thing together and kind of explain how it works
So I finished cutting out all the parts. Then what I did was I made this temporary drawer here, kind of a mock-up, because I really don't have anything to try this out in. I also cut out these sides over here to mount the drawer slides on. And then the last thing that I did after I got it all put together here was I added stops to the front here. These are just washers actually screwed on the front and they'll stop the middle section from coming out this way. I also added blocks on the back, just plywood blocks. And what they'll do is they'll stop the drawer from going in too far and also stop that center section from sliding out the back. So now all I have to do is try it out. really well. I don't know how much weight it will take. Uh, that would be one of the problems with it. It's not going to take a hundred pounds that's for sure like the metal ones will. But it should be able to hold normal stuff. I'll just put my two, uh, my drill and my impact driver in here and it hasn't sagged. Let's see if it still operates properly. Pull it in the middle. Yeah it works good. And the thing is, these slides haven't been lubricated in any way. They are just dry, so if they were waxed or greased, they'd work a lot better. I like it. <laughs> I'd say that this experiment is a success.